Well, good evening. It's Saturday evening. I'm about ready to call it quits for the night. Um, I got to drain. I drained the oil out of the tank. I'm assuming that the filter's 10 years old, so is the oil. So I'm going to change the filter and put new oil in it. I uh, got the rest of the liquid fertilizer ripped off of the old planter. I got the red ball monitors mounted up here and all the hoses ran back to the rows. I got the star closing discs switched over. And I got all the hoses tied up and zip tied up and whatnot. Um, there's a check valve with the orifice in it, and then it comes down through the bracket, through that pipe, and comes out right in the furrow. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right up that tube. I got got it all done. They're all zip tied up. I'm gonna clip a few zip ties yet and do a couple things. I had a couple of seed seed shoot or uh, seed boots that were loose, um, so I had to while I was taking all that stuff apart, I tightened them up. Check the disc openers and the scrapers. I think I'll run them this year and probably put new on next year. Uh, now I got everything tied up. I got to tighten a few bolts and check and make sure everything's set the way I want it. Uh, got the rest of the dry fertilizer stuff off last night. And got the tank kind of in place. Um, I got one bracket that lines up. Right there, I got the bolts in it. I think I'm going to just weld a piece of quarter inch flat bar from that plate up to these brackets, drill a hole, put a pin in it, just so it has a little more support than just those four bolts on the back holding it up. They're 100 gallon tanks each, but I probably won't ever fill them that full because I put six bags of seed in and I'll plant and put 100 gallons of fluid in 50 in each tank that'll plant a fill basically so i'll have to come back up and fill up anyways so but no i got everything routed and got a couple more zip ties to put on just kind of keep things together but i think it's going to turn out and work pretty good i still got to mount my electric pump and hook hoses up and get some return lines made for bypass pressure but, no, everything's coming together. I don't know if I'll get it done tomorrow or not. Hope to, but we will see. I got... Uh, if anybody needs any anything for dry fertilizer, I got two tanks or hoppers, six disc openers, uh, jack shaft, chain... Gears on the jack shaft, bearings. The only thing I don't have off is those gears right there. And I don't know if I can get them off without pulling the whole shaft or not. I gotta investigate that. But so if anybody needs any parts off of a for a dry fertilizer kit for a 900, 800, 1200, they're I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Uh, drop a comment, let me know. I got them. Don't need them. Want them gone. Uh, I got to finish putting all the smooth disc closers on this planter, and it will probably be for sale when I get it all done. Um, good planter. Nothing wrong with it. Other than one row unit I got to fix that's busted. But I got parts to do that, so... I got them when I got the tanks from Ted, so we are we are moving along. Uh, I've got to set the population and, sh and stuff like that yet, and 
set my get my liquid recalibrated since I'm moving everything around. But yeah, that's what we've been up to today. It's been cool and cloudy and rained off and on today, but not enough to not enough to about settle the dust is all. It's raining off in the distance over there, and then the sun's going down over there. And it looks like it might be raining over there as well. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we will talk to you later.